If your girlfriend is down in Florida for vacation, uh, Pensacola Beach specifically, and um, she went out tonight and she was at the bar called Sand Shaker. She was at karaoke all night. I think her friend's name is Brianna. I think her friend's name is Brianna. Um, and your girlfriend is wearing like this beautiful green, like floral dress. That's what she had on tonight in case she sent you any pictures or whatever. Like, you know, her wardrobe, whatever. Um, she's making out with this black dude in the parking lot of the Islander. Uh, you might want to come get your girl. Cause I heard she has a boyfriend at home up in Wisconsin or somewhere. It's probably not Wisconsin, but I just heard somewhere up there in that part of the country <clears throat> but yeah bro i hate to break it to you she totally cheated on you tonight and she's sh wasted and she's hanging out with this old dude who who he said was her father and then her friend brianna was like that's not her dad he's just helping her pay for this trip she's got a boyfriend and so I'm reaching out to the boyfriend. If your girlfriend's on vacation in Pensacola Beach, Florida, and she was at karaoke night at the Sand Shaker, it's a small island. There's like six bars. You know where she at. And I want you to know what she doing. Man, that's why the saying is always and always going to be. She's not your girl, bro. It's just your turn. And when she decided to leave Minnesota and fly out to Miami, that's when you should have just been like, all right, if she's actually committed to going out there, it's a wrap. It's a wrap, bro. Like, if if your chick go to Miami, bro, with her friends, it's over, bro. It's a wrap, bro. She's going out there to go do thought activities. She's going out there to hang around dudes that make way more of her net worth than she'll ever be around. Just for the fact, if she looks good enough, I mean, she's attractive, your girl's gone, bro. And, and it don't take much, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy. She'll be on a nigga's boat. It's a wrap, bro. It's a wrap. <laughs> That's why you can't be wifing up chicks, bro. That's why I don't understand why dudes are even, like, still taking women serious and claiming them in the United States of America in 2024 and beyond. Like, it's no point. Like, you have way better dating prospects, and you can save way more money, time, and headaches dealing with women overseas, getting a girlfriend over there, and spending maybe part-time out there three to six months and then coming back to the United States you know what i'm saying getting yourself in a position to make money online you know what i'm saying so that you don't have to worry about working a job you can actually date over there but dudes just want to continue to crash and burn here in the states and i don't get what it is with the claiming them like just cap just sell a dream just cap to them bro that's all you have to do is cap and be like yeah baby we together and it's just me and you and the, just cap bro get the box and if she does something shady understand that she shows those signs and if she's ready to, you know, go to Miami, just be ready to cut her loose, bro. And have another chick ready on the side. Like, these dudes is tripping, bro. <laughs> like, out here just, like, simping and looking stupid. You get what I'm saying? Stop claiming these chicks. Get your passport or understand the game. And don't take these women serious. Put them in a the sex box. That's what you're dealing with them for anyway, right? Sexual access. That's the only reason we deal with women. If they didn't have that, we wouldn't talk to them. Simple, bro. I don't like how most of these men that I've encountered have are in their soft girl era. Like I miss the part where men became so feminine mm. and it's really beginning to because now it's like, dang, I got to be hard for the both of us. Mm. I'm supposed to be in my feminine power. I'm supposed to be masking that and I can't be in a relationship with, with you and I got to be hard for you, too. Where is this intelligence? I mean, she has none because she doesn't understand, like, this is so simple. You don't like being mirrored, huh? That's exactly what men have been going through. Everything she's complaining about is what men have been complaining about. And she's probably been one of those women that says to suck it up, stop crying, you're supposed to be a man, you know what I'm saying? Like, why are you worried about it? You know what I'm saying? You need to go seek help, go date men, all this crap, like, women been telling us. But now when it comes to their masculinity but now men are acting like them and mirroring them and now they're getting a taste of their own medicine and they don't like it and it's not soft girl era it's soft guy era that's what it is drizzle drizzle what's wrong with these chicks man these chicks are just broke that's all it is all you're giving me is broke drizzle drizzle you know what i'm saying you can't afford it 
because if you could afford it you would go ahead and you would send me a cash app for a hundred dollars right now and you would pay for my Benny Hanna's down on Ventura Boulevard I can go down there and you would pay so somebody will bring me my food but you can't drizzle drizzle because you are nothing but a broke chick out here that wants to be the passenger princess and that's the problem no guys want to deal with you drizzle drizzle because you are too masculine and that's the problem with these women they are masculine and now they're starting to see a side of it that men are active feminine like them and they think even she said it out of her own mouth i gotta be hard for the both of us no why don't you just remain feminine because it's unattractive that's why you have to act masculine so women don't like the mirror being put up to their face and you know this is why drizzle drizzle and the soft guy era actually exists because these women are broke bro they're, it's ridiculous. The kid not Listen. getting something oh, is wow. me carrying a child Listen. in my body. And this is why y'all don't care what okay. men want. It's, when we start it's coming telling, out. When it's we coming start out. telling you what men want, you got something to fucking say instead of listening. I don't have something to say. What I'm you trying to tell you. You fucking said it. <laughs> don't tell me. You're supposed to be listening. Every time she comes on the scene, every time she comes on the video, she just starts yelling. Like, who are you yelling at? The AK-47 knows. I know that guy has to have razor sharp precision uh patience to deal with these women man especially that one coming on here looking like a character off of the movie bap i'm, I'm baps i'm like bro with holly berry like what are you who, who are you supposed to be some dried up screaming lady upset mad that you have to go home every single day to four walls just like every other woman that's in the 50 percent projectile of 2030 being single childless manless and alone this is just sick bro like and then you have to have a man you, you notice how he has to raise his masculinity when she gets loud. He has to, like, bring her down. He would never deal with her. Nobody would ever, in their right mind that she goes for, that she would ever get. The dude would be like, nah, I'm not going to do And she looks argumentative. The way her posture is, the way her facial expressions are, the way the wrinkles on her face looks, that AK-47 nose that just be popping off. I'm like, bruh. You can tell it's going to be a headache. You're going to have to work overtime and then some to deal and talk and have a conversation about this woman because she's so emotionally invested in all of this because her relationships and all of her dating has gone haywire and down the drain. And it's just sad. It just, God, man, these like, what are we going to do with the 50% of women that are going to be childless and manless and alone? Like, what is going to happen? Pushing the cart, I'm telling you, with a parrot glued to their shoulder, talking to themselves in downtown, in Skid Row, L.A., right by Little Tokyo. I'm trying to tell you, bro. It's inevitable. It's sad. But whatever, man. Like, this woman don't listen. And that guy has to bring his masculinity up so high. This is just proof. Get your passport, bro. It's crazy out here. Is this a serious question because women just went from saying they'd rather pick a bear over a man? So why the hell would men approach you or even look in your direction? But not only that, so many women have taught men over the years that all men are predatorial. So the good men of the world gave up. And it's so funny because women will constantly say that men don't listen. But now that men are listening, y'all are wondering where the good guys are at, why they don't approach you anymore, and why men are just simply not interested. And why the hell would they be interested? They don't know if they're going to be the next subject of all men are trash content on social media. They don't know if they're going to be accused of doing something they didn't do. They don't know if they're going to be used for dates. They don't know if they're going to be manipulated and then called a narcissist. And in this particular video, she's also asking why didn't they approach her because she looks the way that she looks. But the bottom line is, is most women are basic. There's nothing special to them. We all look the freaking same. So yeah, you actually have to come with more than just your looks. You actually need a personality nowadays too. Okay, bye. She, she was spot on. But you know what? Women, they just, they're not getting to the point where they're not grasping the, the fact that it's getting scary and spooky out here in these cold streets because dudes are not even approaching anymore and women are starting to see it happen to them in real time. And it doesn't matter what kind of clothes that you wear. 
guys are going to go off of whatever they go off of nowadays, which is the red pill, which is the manosphere, which is drizzle drizzle, which is understanding female nature, which is MGTOW, which is staying away from women. So you're going to see a lot of that take effect and women they're going to they're going to be more slipping more and more into panic mode level 4s and possibly level 5s because we're at a level 3 right now. Women are starting to get dried out more and more every day, but you're going to start seeing more panic mode ensue like I've been saying the last 2 years and it's true. You're seeing it. And <laughs> she was absolutely right. Like men just don't want to deal with women like they used to deal with them. It's just not worth the risk. A lot of guys are saying it's just not worth it. You go to these comment sections, you see the guys, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Like, who cares? Just, you know, she's a bopper. Like, you just see girl, just, she's doing bop things. It's like, these dudes are just like on a whole nother level. And we can't say it's red pill rage and these guys hate women. They're like standing on business and women don't know what to do. They're trying shaming. They're trying to extinguish this with uh, uh, reverse psychology. They're trying to down and belittle. They're trying to still play the game from 1999 and apply those same rules. And it's not working out. They think that, you know, they can just come in looking average, like she says. All these women look exactly the same and they think that they're special and different, but they're not. They think they can just come in, you know, with their bodies out, wearing something nice that they think is attractive and guys are just going to fall at their feet. Not going to happen. Those days are dead and women have to come to grips with this and they have to switch it up. But that's the most like important thing there. That's the most interesting thing to see if they're actually going to change the game up and stick with something. But I don't see it happening. Guys adapt, but we have never seen women adapt to guys. Guys typically adapt to women. So this is a cosmic shift, guys. This is happening in real time. And it is just it's, it's just like a specimen to see, man. This is like a, a science experiment. This is like a movie, bro. It's crazy to me. But I love that we're living in this time and I can talk to you guys about this and we can all experience it. But let's just see if they're ever going to switch it up. I'm waiting. I don't know what you guys are looking at and seeing this, but I'm waiting to see if women are going to catch on. Like the drizzle drizzle thing is just monumental it's blowing up everywhere it's just getting started but i want to see the phases of this i want to see the panic i want to see if it gets worse because are women actually going to toss away the old 1980s and 1990s playbook for the simps and like trade up and start like having a new formula because their manipulation tactics aren't really working anymore and they only work on like a very small percentage so they can maybe get one guy but they're not going to get the fourth, fifth, sixth, these guys are going to ghost them before they even get a chance. And they're going to probably be called mid crazy, man. But yeah, it's a crazy like world that we're living in now. But I'm just happy that you guys are here with me. But anyway, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys actually enjoyed it. Uh, make sure you guys like the video, sub to the channel with post notifications on because I'm pretty much posting a video every single day. Also, comment for the algorithm pushes everything out further so we can get more villains to come in. You already know what it is. Your boy Bountyville, Bounty Villains up. Mastodon's down. Let's get it. Let's go. We on a road to 100K. I love you guys, man. I got to get back up to cooking this content every single day for you guys here at Bountyville. I love y'all. Merch should be coming out soon. I'm looking and seeing who I'm going to uh, do my print on demand. And we'll see how that happens. When it launches, you'll know. I'll see you guys all in the next video. I love y'all. Peace, man. Stay up. I'm out.